Hey guys, it's Jeannie. You already know who this hair tutorial is inspired by. And I have to give credit to my two nieces. Frozen is their absolute favorite movie. And although I haven't seen it yet, uh, they've kind of made me love it already as well. Just from the music and they're singing the songs to me and now I know all the songs and my daughter knows all the songs and we haven't even seen the movie yet. My niece, Allie, the first time she saw me after I had dyed my hair blonde, and if you're blonde, you know, right after you first do it, it's pretty bright. So the first time she saw me after I dyed it, she said, oh, TT! Yes, that's what they call me. Uh, it's an affectionate term for aunt or auntie in Spanish, and so that's what they call me. So I'm TT. So she said, oh, TT, you look just like Elsa. Now, my hair wasn't in a braid, it was in a different style, and she said, but that's not how you're supposed to wear your hair. So I decided to go ahead and do this video tutorial for her and Arabelle, and also my sister who is in love with this movie. Oh, hi Teresa! If you want to see how I got this Elsa hair from the movie Frozen, then just keep watching. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add just a, two tracks of my extensions. Um, just to give it a little bit more fullness in the braid and a little bit more length when it's all braided to the side. You absolutely do not have to do this step, so if you don't have any extensions, don't worry about it. This is just what I'm choosing to do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. Okay, so they are in, and I just add, like I said, I just added two tracks, just to give it a little bit more volume in the braid. So next, my hair is very fine, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tease it a little bit. Is just take this back section. We don't want it to be really full in the back, um, just a little bit extra oomph so it's not like a slick side ponytail braid. And just very gently, I'm going to tease a little bit. And I'm going to do it in the crown as well. And in the crown, I actually want a little bit more oomph all in through the top in the crown, so I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of hairspray. Let it dry for a second. And now I'm just going to tease it a little bit. And I'm actually going to take this one a little bit higher with the tease, so it can have a little bit more fullness through the back. Instant fullness. Okay? Now I'm going to make sure I'm doing the sides as well. And when I tease, I want to make sure I'm teasing it, pulling it towards the back so that that's kind of the direction the hair wants to go. That's a good rule of thumb for uh, teasing your hair for any kind of style. If you want it to go to the side, you hold the hair to the side that you want it to go to and tease it that way so that it kind of shapes it as you're teasing it. So we're going to keep doing that. Now if your hair is full already on its own, you don't need to do this step. Or if you want to do just a really simple take on Elsa's hair, then you don't even have to tease it at all. Just kind of uh, maybe put a little bit of um, dry shampoo into the roots and really work it in, and that'll give it enough volume that you can just kind of swoop, sweep it back over to the side and braid it like we're going to do. So if your hair already has volume or you don't want it to, skip this step. But I like it because it really helps it look like Elsa's hair. Okay, so now that we have most of our volume and have a wonderful wind-blown look, I'm going to do the bangs. Now, for this hair, this particular hairstyle that she has, she only has like two little pieces that kind of frame on the sides, and the rest kind of sweeps over to the side. So I'm going to try to do that. This is my bangs that were styled already kind of to this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tease them a little bit in the back and kind of direct them over to my right side to do a sweep. And then I'm just going to take two little pieces, and this is the part where my um, my niece, when she saw me, she said, you have to have two little bangs. So <laughs> this is for her, Miss Allie. Okay, so now we're going to start smoothing. And this is all just before the braid, and like I said, you do not have to do this step, but I think it really adds to the style. Just very lightly, you don't want to get rid of the teasing you've already done. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray and spray just my bang area or fringe and try to get that little bit of a swoop that she has. And we'll really um, smooth it and fix it after we get the braid going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about where my temples are and I'm going to try to get my hands in there through that teasing we just did. And that's where we're going to start our French braid because her, hair, her French braid is not all the way up into her hair. She has a lot of volume and then the French braid starts in the back down. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to go just straight back. I'm not going to pull it to the side for this because her hair does kind of go straight back and then over to the side. So that's what we're going to do. So I have about temple height hair and all I'm going to do is start French braiding. So hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to make three sections and it's going to be kind of tough because you have to work through that teasing you just did. But just kind of start your French braid and I'm just doing one quick braid and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little as I go. So I'm going to take this hair and add it. Not pulling too tightly because normally I like a really tight compact French braid. So I'm just going to pull this side. And we're going to incorporate it into the braid, French braid. Basically just a normal French braid trying to keep it loose. And the same with this side. And like I said, we can smooth it and piece it out at the end and add it into the braid. And now is when we're going to start kind of trying to go to the side. So I'm going to pick this up, including my extension hair. If you don't are using extension hair, don't worry about it. And we're just going to kind of sweep it to the side. and continue our French braid down. And I'm just going to continue the braid down once all the hair is incorporated. And this is kind of where the extension hair for me added a little bit of volume to my braid because normally I have a very small skinny braid and so this just kind of helps plump it up a little bit like Elsa's. I'm going to go all the way down until I run out of my own hair and I'm going to use just a tiny little um, plastic rubber band. Uh, a clear one would be a lot better but I don't have one so this one is yellow which is fairly close to my hair color. Okay so now when you have your braid what we're going to do is we're just going to loosen that braid all the way from the top and just tug on it. Now don't tug too hard because you can pull your braid out and if you have layers you can pull those little pieces out too but that's that's fine, you can always use bobby pins to fix that. So now I have that fullness, like Elsa's braid, all the way down. Now we're just going to kind of start trying to shape this up. And I'm actually going to tug on it a little bit to loosen it up even more to get a little bit more fullness. And then I'm going to take bobby pins. Now ideally you would use your hair color. I don't have blonde bobby pins right now, so I'll just have to use this. But we're just going to take these and kind of pin things in place and back out of the way till we get how we like it in the front. And I'm just sliding it under the braid, the bobby pin, to hide it. This is a little bit loose here for me, so I'm going to go ahead and um, try to sweep that up. That's the other side. Take it and then just kind of slide it down into the braid so it's not totally visible. Like I said, you're going to see it a little bit because these are not my hair color, but it's not too bad. So, and I'm just gonna keep shaping. And then spraying in place. And now I'm just going to sweep this small section of my bangs and try to really give it a little bit of a swoop like on Elsa's. Okay, and you can just really tug and play with that braid and get it as thick as you want it or um, as loose as you want it, excuse me. And I'm just going to spray everything. And there you have it. You have Elsa's hair from the movie Frozen. It was really easy. You can really customize it how you like it. You don't have to have so much volume in the top. You can just sweep it to the side and do a side braid and leave a little bit of bang out. However you like it. Make it yours. Show your Disney side however you like. I hope you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye!